Greetings, gorgeous. Welcome to Simply Sango. If this is your first time here, Hajime Mashite Sango this. And if this isn't your first time here, welcome back. Wow, one plus up yourself, and thank you so much for coming back. And thank you for the week off. I really, really appreciated it. Despite taking a week off, I was quite active throughout the week and I did take clips of my days. So here is a mini montage of what my week looked like. So I just got a very exciting package. I've been looking for something like this for the longest of time and I'm so excited because I finally found it and I'm just I'm gonna open it and then show you guys. I literally manifested this, but it's a mirror and it has these rattan frame on it and I want to put this in the bathroom. Come with me. How will I put it in the bathroom? I have no idea, but we're gonna figure it out. I think I figured it out. Put a string on the new mirror and I'm going to tie it to the light bulb. Now I don't know how this will look or feel. But okay, I'll put it up and I'll get back to you guys when I'm finished. I literally ran downstairs because I thought the hot potato fan was gonna be there for like one minute but now it's like out there for like a whole 10 minutes but I got some sweet potatoes oh my god I've never seen a, a sweet potato truck selling sweet potatoes this big they're always small and flimsy and for this huge chunk it was like 500 yen. And I know I'm scooping the inside, but I'm pretty sure that you can eat the skin as well. I'm about to wash my hair real quick um, and then head over to Seiko's because she's going to be braiding my hair over again. Because it's at an awkward length, like I wish I could ponytail it, but you know, I'm just going to look like Rick from Rick and Morty. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get it braided again um, until it grows out. I'm pretty much just going to have it braided. And if I want to you know, wear a wig over it, if I want, I can just go to the gym like that. Um, yeah. But my hair is growing, as you can see. It's been a little over a year since I last shaved it all off. I'm kind of proud, but this is where the struggle starts. This awkward length where, you know, I really want to shave it off because I can't put it in a ponytail or any other hairstyle. It feels the healthiest it has ever been. I'm so tempted to dye it brown, but we're going to leave it like this. I'm gonna wash it and yeah, I honestly don't wanna redo my makeup, so I just wanna oh myself like I could just wash my hair. As you can see, I got my new mirror. It was a little bit challenging putting it up, but basically I used like this plastic rope and wrap it around because it has this little triangular thing where you can hang it from. And then I used this thick double-sided tape to finally like tape it onto the original mirror that's behind there. So I just basically just hung it and taped it to the actual mirror. I think it's earthquake proof. I've tried shaking it around. This is steady. The mirror is not that heavy so it should be you know, fine, but I'm loving the aesthetics so far. But it's so hard arranging and like personalizing a three-piece unit bathroom. We call these type of like bathroom boots, three-piece unit bathroom. Three pieces in the sink, the toilet, and the bathtub is all in one. We usually have a separate room for the shower and the bathtub, then the toilet, and then the sink. Especially like bigger spaces, but this little booth right here, it has all three in one.
And we're back. Now that you're all caught up, we're going to start off today by going to visit a oxygen capsule place in Shinjuku. It helps with exhaustion, joint pains, and headaches, which I am feeling all of them right now. By the time I got back from my diving lesson yesterday around 5.30, I was knocked out. And then I woke up at 9 a.m. this morning with a very strong headache. I don't know if that was from the long sleep or just whatever the hell diving does to your body. But yeah, I'm feeling exhausted. Today is kind of like a self-maintenance day. We're gonna start off with oxygen capsule in Shinjuku. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. If you like it here so far, don't forget to hit the subscribe button or the like button or send to a family friend who you think might enjoy the content more than you do because we all have different tastes here and that's okay. Yeah. Hi there, um, it's been a couple of days after my oxygen capsule experience. I, I thought I would just hop on here real quick and give you guys a review of what the oxygen capsule was like. But before I get into the reviews and all of that, I would like to kind of explain briefly what an oxygen capsule is. As you saw in the previous part of the video, it's just a tank where you just lay down in. And what the machine does is it puts pressure on the oxygen molecules or particles, I forgot which ones are bigger, within the tank to break it down small enough that it makes it easier for your whole body to absorb oxygen. Apparently in general, human beings are supposed to get more oxygen into their system, but we're not getting it because the molecules or particles are way too bigger for it to be absorbed. And through doing that, it helps with your skin gear, it helps with your joint pain, headaches. Fun fact, they say that it also helps with hangovers and one hour within an oxygen capsule is worth three hours of sleep. That's how much fatigue it like sucks out of your system. So it turns out the reason why I wasn't feeling well after my diving lesson was due to this thing called decompression sickness which is caused by a rapid change in air or water pressure around you. Before I hopped into the capsule, the lady at the store explained to me that the air pressure I would be feeling inside of the capsule would be about the same of which I would feel if I was diving 3 meters deep into water. Mind you, the reason why I got decompression sickness was because I dived 3 meters underwater the day before. So I'm like, okay, so is this going to, you know, mess me up a little bit more? Is it gonna make me feel better? So I ended up being anxious the whole time inside of the capsule, not being able to sleep. I don't even know if I was sleeping or not. I was just mindlessly lying there listening to Michael Seeley on YouTube. But then afterwards, as I was furthering my research of the benefits and effects of an oxygen capsule, it did state somewhere that it helps with decompression sickness. So it's all okay. Just in case, you know, you dive or you're in an airplane, the air pressure changes. The reason why they told me about the air pressure within the capsule is to find out if I'm good at popping my ears or not. So after mentioning diving, if there was a problem with using the oxygen capsule after diving, I'm pretty sure they would have said something. One thing that really surprised me though is that after experiencing the oxygen capsule, my appetite has been very very big and I've been eating consistently and I don't know if that is the effect of the oxygen capsule or just because I am tired but then the oxygen capsule kind of took the fatigue away and the dullness away so I don't know if you haven't been into an oxygen capsule before I really do recommend trying it out and if you have experienced it before can you please tell me if this appetite thing is actually true and that I'm not going crazy okay <laughs> Anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching until the end. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye, single out.